They just do it in wickedness, that's all. But that's in their spirit. They want to get the nicest cars. They want to get, yeah, they mouth. They want to get the, uh, the rings. They want to get the big ass jewelry. You see? They want to be decked out because Israel got salt. And the kingdom, we going to have way more than that. Real shit. And we going to have unlimited. You see? It's not we going to have an end. First of all, we going to have control over the elements. Yeah. See? So you could create things out of thin air. We don't have control over that. We don't have the blueprint to creation. You see what I'm saying? In the world to come. Can I tell you? Can I ask a question? If it's a sensible one, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what is this all about? The 12 tribes of the children of Israel. How did you find that out? Prophecy. Why they don't tell us this in the Middle East? No, the, the, the heads in the Middle East know who the real Jews and Israelites are. The leaders of this world know who the real Jews and Israelites are. The leaders, the leaders of this world know that the people in Israel are not the real Jews. That they cause us. What's the name? Gamela Nasser said that before they went into the land of Israel. The the, uh, the Egyptian uh, uh, diplomat. He said, "How could the Jews leave black and come back white? Who are these people?" No, I know that. Uh, yeah, how, did so you, how did you find out they were in Israel? Through the through the Bible, through prophecy. That's how the Bible is true through prophecy. Genesis 49, Deuteronomy 32, Genesis. Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And then we have other historical documents that go along with it. So besides slavery, in your opinion, mm -hmm. how, what did, how did the Almighty God guide you guys over here? What do you mean? So you mentioned the term prophecy. Because, okay, because the scripture tells you after three days and a half that the Heavenly Father is going to wake up His people in the last day. He said, I will bring you from one end of the earth even unto the other. Isaiah 43. He also tells you that Deuteronomy 28, 64. It was already written that all 12 tribes are going to slavery and that our last captivity will be America, a.k.a. Babylon. And he said in... America is not Babylon. I'm well educated on prophecy. You sure? You sure? Okay, let me read it for you. Revelation. I know, I know the Bible. You sure? Let's read. Revelation 11, 7. Because who, who's Babylon? Babylon is the land and the hollow And so what? Say it again. It's the land and the hollow as the Garden of Eden. So the Babylon, of uh, the Babylon that God is going to destroy is, is, is in the land of Eden. Uh, where's garden. The, the Garden of Eden. Okay, so where's the Garden of Eden? You, you guys are well educated. I watched all your YouTube videos and all that kind of stuff. I want to tell you something. Read about Operation. Hey, Hold on, but you said, hey, who are we, brother? Where we no, first no, no. came from? So, yeah, you <laughs> was, uh, You're being crafty, brother. No, no, no. I keep that as soon as he mentioned slavery. Yeah, you said, yeah. So, I mean, you know the curse is so you know, So, slavery. you know. You said, who are you guys? I'm you already knew who was. You already knew who we were. No, hold on. You don't, you don't understand. Okay, okay. Let me hear. Okay. So, uh, read about Operation Hydra. Mm -hmm. You know about the Garden of Eden. I know where the Garden of Eden is. So, that's what, what the Bible referred to as Babylon. Oh. One. Okay, let me hear. Let me hear. Let me hear, let me hear you out. Let me Two. Hear you out. You're correct. You guys are lost, so-called tribe of Israel. But you're not Judea. You are the other 11 tribes. I have done a lot of investigation about this, and I found it very profound that you guys are going on the street, ministering to people the truth. So, my question is, why do people in the Middle East, rulers, scholars, they're not telling the people, like, look, 12, the, the, the tribes of Israel, or what we call the children of Israel, which is a term, a bogus term, referred to the 12 tribes of Yahoo, Jacob, who was Israel, right? So, you say that the Jews that we have in the Middle East, or in the land, or in the state of Israel now, are the Jews. Correct. We don't agree. We don't disagree. Yeah, However, yeah. where are the other 11 tribes of Israel? Yeah, yeah. So when I see you guys are preaching over here, I was like, wait a second. Those who understand prophecy know that they are the people of Israel. Good. They know that from the Torah, the Gospel, and the Psalms. Right. And later on, you know, they are the people who still believe in Christ. Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, so they are part of Israel. Yeah. Who has an ancestor, right? And they are the people who stood with Christ. Because nobody tells us, hey, we started from Muhammad. But when I go and educate myself about the Torah, the Gospel, and the Psalms, the Quran, no, well, it tells the whole story from the beginning to the end. So, if those people stood with Christ against the Romans at that time, is that the reason that they get migrated and enslaved 
you know, you know the story. The diaspora. Being here. You know? It's a lot of digging. It's a lot of questions. No, but, but the, the scripture answers it because the scripture right, right. tells you right. the Messiah have to bring the Jews back into the land. It tells you that. And it tells you when the Messiah bring the Jews back into the land, that the whole world will be at peace and the law will be executed from Jerusalem. They don't fit that. They don't even fit the color. True. You see? True. So, it's not about color. It's but, not about color. But it's, it's certain characteristics. It, it is about color. It's about the, Because when you mention Jesus... It's about Jesus, ancestry. It's about ancestry. It's not about yeah, color. yeah, it is. It is. But when you mention Jesus Christ, what image pops in your mind? A white a white man with blonde hair and blue eyes. But I'm saying, though, the minute you mention Jesus, that's the image that pops in. That's, that's white supremacy. So that's what we have to stress color and say no. According to the Bible, the, the Jews were people of color. So, so let me ask you a question. But you said Babylon is the Garden of Eden. Maybe I, that is, maybe I deal not, with that first. That's yeah, incorrect. Yeah, yeah, because the Garden evidence. of Eden, the we Garden have evidence. Huh? We have evidence. But, well, what does the scripture say? The scriptures say, look, we have an argument say the scripture has been changed. That's why we're not following this book anymore. Okay, okay. Well, for them, well, we follow this book. But the Garden of Eden is, is the land of Israel. That's what, that's what it always been. God's holy land always been that land. That was always the land he promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's where the kingdom of heaven is going to be. Read, read. If you, I don't know, and just gave this operation high time. And, you know, let's see what you have. For your own, for your own, for your own investigation. Okay, okay. okay. But, so, America is not bad about I'm going to read, I'm going to read it for you. Galatians 4.26 is Paul. It says, but Jerusalem, which is above is free, which is the mother of us all. It always been there. That's the land that Adam got kicked out of, and Abraham going back into the. That's Abraham going into the land of Canaan. That's going back into the garden. Now you said America, not Babylon. Let me prove that. Revelation 11. Revelation 11. 11 and 7. It says. It says, and when they shall. Verse 8, and their dead bodies, the Israelites, spiritually dead, because it says Ezekiel 37, I don't know if you're familiar with that, talk about the Absolutely. valley of the dry bones. Absolutely. Yeah, That's what's going on over there right now, and we both no, know that. Right here. Right here. Not not in Jerusalem, right here. The the Jakes, the, the black people and Hispanics you see in the ghettos smoking and drug dealing, gang they, they consider you gang banging, they're dead to the heavenly father. No, he caught that's what he showed Ezekiel. These are the valley of the dry bones. You see? It says, let me read on, it says, Of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So, this Babylon, or this new city, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So, let's start with Egypt. How is America Egypt? What was Egypt known for? Bondage. It tells you that in the book of Exodus. Exodus 20. You also have the symbolism. You have an obelisk in Washington, D.C., obelisk in Central Park. That's no, Osiris' no, no, no. penis. It's a pyramid on the back of the dollar bill. There you go. They sure. free masonry, they witchcraft. Yeah, all of that, yeah. That's, that's Egypt. It says spiritually Sodom. How's America spiritually Sodom? That, that goes without saying. You don't even got to You don't even got to go. There's a lot of symbolism going on here. I know what. This is that great. No, I, I know what. I, 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 oh, matter of fact, let's. I, I try to ask you, Muslim scholars, who we have in the Middle East, hey, what do you know about symbolism? Guess what? They go after the hadith. The hadith is an interpretation of the book. That is, you know, according to them, it's not correct. So, I go by the book. I'm an engineer. I go by the spec, right? So, if we built this building, here's what the specs say, here's what the drawings say, period. Other than that, it's going to be a problem. Today, by the lunar or the solar system, you don't know. While we, the people who put the order of the day, the order of the month, the week, year. Why? When we follow the Torah, the Torah explains to you these things. And they explain it to you in two systems. Lunar system and solar system. The lunar is the minor. That's why they call it the lesser light. The bigger light, you know this, you know, that's the solar part. So, how you get from the small to big, and how you count those days. I ask every, pretty much every scholar in America, one day of the Lord equal a thousand years. Break it down by the lunar and the solar. They don't know. Hey, you have great technology, you have great instrumentations. Break down one day of the Lord equal a thousand years of our time. The hour time, the one hour, the 24 hours, or one day, that's our time, right? Yeah. If you break down the one day of the Lord equal a thousand years, you will know when Christ is going to come. 
Well, no, 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 we know the time. We know the time. We know the season. We know the time. We know this is a season because yeah. of the prophets. He gave signs. When you see this, that, this, that. When we see the mark of the beast, Revelation 13, then we know, okay, it's right around. So I can't give you March 24th, yeah. 2021. The Lord is coming back. Yeah, can't I, can't, I can't do that. Because he could come March 22nd. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, and he, guess what? He don't know. Yeah, he, and, he don't and, know. And that's, that's, what, that's what the Heavenly Father is showing you that I'm the most high. Yeah. Nobody knows that secret but me. You see what I'm saying? So read to me Deuteronomy 33 2. 33 2? I want to read you Isaiah 13 19. Yeah, but the Babylon, right? Yeah. yeah we gotta deal with, gotta deal with this first, man. You Isaiah 13 Babylon. 19, it says, And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, it tells you that Revelation 18, that everybody do business here. Everybody comes here. This is the sense of the world, America. All the influence come from America. The only Babylon that I know on earth, not in the Garden of Eden, is the Babylon that Abraham was from. No, but, but I'm saying though, Babylon means what? Confusion. You see what I'm saying? You're going after symbolism. And I guess no, no, no. But because that Babylon, well, I'm gonna read it. We gonna see. It says Isaiah 39, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of child peace, excellency. This is the point. Shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What did the Most High do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He blew it off the face of the earth. Iraq or ancient Babylon is still there. So what Babylon or country is going to be destroyed? This place. In the Third World's War. That's what it said. Babylon shall begin to make war. I've read it. Many people are talking about Babylon. Oh, okay, I'll, so you're familiar. I'm, I'm familiar. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying your perception is wrong. <laughs> as, of, as of many, as of many, as of many. Okay. You, don't have to, you don't have to agree with no, me. But anyway, of not, of go, not. go to thir Deuteronomy 33 two. I want to give you something about this book that you have. Hmm? 33 two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read. It says. And he said, Yahweh Shemel Shah came from Mount Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran. And he came with ten thousands of his saints, and from his right hand went a fiery law for them. Explain. That's the well the, the thousand, that's the Heavenly Father came with those chariots. Okay. And, and from and from and from his right hand, that's the Lord. Who you think they call Jesus Christ. He actually wrote the law. Okay, so let me ask you a different question. What Sinai represent? What Sair represent? What Paran or Paran represent? What do you mean? What do you mean with, it, uh, with the mountain? So right? the reason that I brought this to you, two points. Uh -huh. First, you, you brought Babylon. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of like explain to you what's mm -hmm. the symbolism part of it. Mm -hmm. And second, I want to show you the book that you, you have in hand. Uh -huh. It came from other land. The, one, the land that I'm from. Which is what you call it, the Middle East today, right? Yeah. So we're not, we're not disagreeing no, no, with that. Sayer, where does that represent? Mount Seir, that was Southern Israel. Where does that represent? It's going to work. No, 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 but that's, that's Southern Israel. Mount Seir, or what? That's where the Edomites go. That was South of Israel. Okay. So I'll give it to you. Okay. Sinai represents Moses and his law of the Torah. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Oh, it's but consistent. No, it's no, consistent. No, but no, what does Sayer represent? But I'm going to say this, though. It's not the land, it's the people. Because what was the, what was that land called before we went in there? It was called the land of what? Canaan. Why was it called the land of Canaan? Because the Canaanites dwelt there. So it's not the land, it's the, it's the people. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's called the land of Judah or Judea. When we took it over, it took on the, it took on the name. Don't mix Israelites with the Jews. Brother, the, the, Jew, the Jews are, are Israelites. Jews. So you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? put it right there. Look, it's, it's very profound. Look, these are the ancestry of the Jews. These are the other Israelites. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi are the Jews. Yeah, because they were left in Judea. The Jew is short for Judah. It's yeah, Judea. that's all it was. That's all it was. So, for instance, I'm from the tribe of Levi. How, 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 how? What's, what's your father? I mean, I'm not saying, I don't know who you are. But I'm saying, though, how did you come to the realization that you were I a Levi? I challenged someone in Texas. We have a DNA organization. And, you know... The guy, he's doing a big business. So I said, okay, you, you're giving people percentages and say, here's so-and-so, and here's so-and-so, here's and so-and-so. He was like, fine. If you, if you say you're a Sephardic Jew, 
right? Uh -huh. Meaning, you can define their ancestry. I ask him that profound question. You are the ancestor of Judea, right? Uh -huh. Where are the other 11 ancestors? Right. We, we get that, we get But I'm saying though, you so, said you found... So you said, no, Levi and, and the other 11, they are Jews. No, they're not Jews. Judea is the Jews. That's what the Jew. That's Yehud. You know the term. Yeah, Yahweh does. Yehud. Yahweh does. Praise. So Yehud is not the other 11 tribes. Why? I'm sure you're familiar. Yeah. Yaqub, yeah. you know, he married three. Yeah, and Judea. Oh, yeah, yeah, but but you, like what the brother was saying, no. Right. Um, They're not Jews. Judea is Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Judea yeah. is Yahud. But, right. but you remember, um, I don't know if you're familiar with the history. When um, the uh, after the ten tribes got taken away, there were three left during the time of Esther, during the time of Jeremiah, the Babylonians. When they came in, there were three tribes left, and they just called all of them. They couldn't tell the difference. They just all called them Jews. They are, they are, just like what I said, they are specific. If you go through ancestry, Judea is like one tree. Levi is like one tree. Nah, you get what I'm saying. And then they yeah, end yeah, yeah. up ancestry. First Timothy one. Six, yeah, six and twenty. You talk about four signs. Yeah, that too. And there's another one. Yeah, yeah. But we, nah, you don't get what we're saying. Like these tribes are taken away. The Syrians took them down. There were only three left: Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. In Judea. Look, yeah, look, I, I, I know the history. Yeah. Only Judea. That's why, look, when they did the separation, they called this part Israel and they called this part specifically Judea. Oh, oh remember Paul? You, remember, was, what, 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 what tribe was Paul from? I don't know if you remember, you know. Paul was a uh, Benjamite. My, my tribe, right? I'm going to read this. Mm. I'll jump straight to it. I don't want to linger so, too much. I want to go back to that point before you read me in that section. Right, right, right. So we said Sinai represent Moses, right? No, and his law of the Torah. You said that, you said that, right. Let me hear it. Uh, no, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the actual interpretation. Right, right, right. Let me, let me hear it. Okay, what Sinai represent? I already broke it down, I already broke it down. That's just where they received it, that's all, that's all. And I told you the land takes it, on the name of the people, no, no, it's no, not. They, they are symbols. They are represent somebody. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you this knowledge. Okay. So you can investigate it, you know, a little further. Uh, who does it represent? That's Jesus Christ and his revelation of what? I, I just said that. I said, that's why I said, I told you, Jesus actually wrote the law. That's what he says, from his right hand, who is the Lord, came the fiery, he actually wrote it. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Hold on. But you, you're mixing these, whole, you know, you're mixing the whole thing. Where is Pharaoh represent? No, hold on, hold on. I got I to read this. I got to read this. It's, um... Because if we come to the terms that Almighty God, whatever you want to call it, you know, called us for, guess what? Tomorrow we will unite. <laughs> I was trying to get what Paul gives his answer to me. But, I don't uh, care about Paul. Paul was not part of the Israelites. Paul was a Benjamite. I'm going to read it. Philippians 3 and 5. I'm telling you. So when he say, <laughs> when, when he say Yahudi, you know this term, you know? Philippians 3 and 5, this is what Paul said, he said, he said, look, it just doesn't make any sense. He said, circumcise the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, this is Paul, a Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Paul said, I'm a Hebrew so, of the Hebrews. So you mentioned the word Yahweh, Yahud, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Why don't you call Paul Yahya? No, Paul said he was a Benjamite. No, no, no. That's his name. Yeah. They translated it to Paul later on. Yeah, yeah. So why, if you speak in the Israelite language, why you don't call Paul Yahya? We can understand it, right? Oh, he's talking about Yahya right away. Okay, so if I say, if I say, um, Yahweh, who am I saying, talking about? Talking about the God of Israel. If I say Yahweh Shai, who am I talking about? Same thing. Oh, no. sorry, Yeshua, uh, Jesus Christ. Now, does the average person know that? No. True. True. So True. We, I can't, I can't, I can't come out here and say that. So, okay. If I say, if I say, yo, you believe in Yahweh Shai? So look at me like, who are you talking, you talking about? about? Yeah. So you have to you, you have to come down to the level of the people. You see what I'm saying? So, but yeah. I'll show you. Paul was an Israelite. He was definitely. Yeah. Israel. He tells you that Romans nine. Okay. You want, you want to read uh, Romans well, nine? I'll yeah. Go, <laughs> I'll, I'll go. With, I'll go with the story of yeah, yeah. You know, he's he's a Levi. Yes. Nah, Benjamite. Benjamite. The same tribe Saul came from. So I'll go back. We talked about Sayers and I. Okay. We we left with Paran. Who's Paran represent? 
my part that's just where they received it it's, it doesn't represent it's not it's not the land it's the people you know what i mean it's not it's not it's not huh romans nine and one. yeah yeah you can read it romans chapter nine verse one i say the truth in christ allah not my conscience also bear me witness in the holy ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelite. So he was an Israelite. To whom pertained the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. So Christ came for the Israelites. Who is over all the most high blessed forever. Amen. So Christ came from Israel. That's what you said. Christ he came, he came, for, he came, he came from the Israelites for, for the, the Israelites. Israelites. And Paul well, just well, said right here. Yeah. Right, Paul just said right here. For my brethren. For his brethren and his kids. And I was looking at my uncle Ron. And they have all different theories on where exactly it was. Yeah. yeah. I need the truth. Yeah. Because yeah. look. No. See, they have it here. They have question mark. It was it here? Was it here? They don't necessarily know exactly where it was. That's why I said, let's not get caught up on the land. It's, it's the people. Because so the, the land takes on the name of the people. So the land gave you that book, right? That's uh -huh. what I'm saying. Uh huh? That's what I'm trying to bring to it's you. Not, no, it came through the prophets who were Israelites, not the land. They, they inhabited that land, right? Yeah, and it took yeah. on, it took on, that's what, that's what you said, Judah, because the, the Judeans dwelt there. Okay. You know what I mean? So, well, hold, on, hold on. I want to bring this to your. Is your battery is getting lost or what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I gotta check. This is the, the worst battery yet. Okay, so here's the... But you get the point I'm saying, though. No, it's, it's no. not It's not the land. To me, to was, me, to uh, me, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I yeah, respect we appreciate you. that. This you. is a beautiful discussion. Yeah, we, 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 I, I love you. I discuss... Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I respect what you guys are doing. However, you must know the truth. Okay. <laughs> so I want... I want No, it's very profound because it's like holy smoke. In the Middle East, they say, oh, these are the blacks, and they got enslaved, and they give us all this bogus. Now, when I go investigate it, and Moses did something with the, you know, the, what do you call it, the stick, you know, uh, strike the stone, 12 fountains come from it. What is that symbolism? So, later on, you, talk, you know, you look to the book of Exodus, these people, they've been ordered to migrate, right? This is all in the, what they call it, the Torah. Today, they call it... First Testament, right? Which is the biggest story too. But what I try to impress upon you is the three names. They are very profound. Sinai, we all know about the story of Moses. Is in, in the book of Exodus, it explained clearly what, what he did, how he went to the mountain, how he got the tablets first, why he break the tablets, right? And in the end, he gave the, 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 book, the people to the Israelites. Not all of them, but yet, you know, these 11 people who are really followed then Almighty God, or what you call him, excuse me, huh? Almighty God, what you call him, uh, King Saul, he came into place. After who? After Aaron. And then. No, you got it mixed up. You got it way mixed hold, up. Hold, hold, hold. Saul came way after. Not way after. Way after. Way. Because you had a period called judges. There were different judges. And then Israel said, We want a king. And then the Most High chose a Benjamite to be a king. But then afterward, he took the kingdom from him and then he gave it to David because it was prophesied in Genesis 49 <laughs> that the Messiah had to come to what? Judah. Let, let me explain it to you because it's all connected. No, no. Uh, I think you gotta re you got to review the history. A lot of I'm, things you're that's saying... That's my life. I know, I know what you're saying, but a lot of things you're saying is These not, are our books, by the way. No, it's not. It's not your the, books. It's the Israelites. What's your, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? I'm not a nationalist. That's the, that's the thing, too. What's your life? The Israelites are nationalists. So we, out of Jacob, how do you know you're Jacob? How, though? Were. How, do you know you're Jacob? How do you know you're a Jacob, a Jacobite, or an Israelite? How do you know that? How do you know that? Precisely from the ancestor of King Solomon. No, I'm saying, but how do you know that? You have the actual Vision. pedigree that says you're the Vision. father, 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 father. Vision father. number one. Number two, you know, it's in, in the scripture. You have the Bible, what you call it. We have the Quran. And when I go and I talked about the Quran, you know, it's talk about the whole tribe of Israel. I was like, wait a second. They're doing a good job. However, they are hooked by the jaw 
with their names and the tribes here in this country. So you believe in the Quran? You believe in the Quran too? See, I'm, I gotta read it for you. I gotta read yeah, it for you, bro. Yeah, I got to. No, 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 we gotta read. Let's read. Let's yeah, not pray. Yeah, you jumping right. all over the place. No, no, I'm reading, I'm, reading, I'm, reading, I'm, reading, I'm reading for your Quran. It's for your Quran. Isaiah 34 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord this and read. No one of these shall fail the prophecies. None shall want her mate. So you can't mate it. You can't mate this with the Quran. And you know what cuts the Quran? What's the main thing that cuts the Quran? No prophet could come through Ishmael. Not one. All the prophets came through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The prophets, the priests, the kings were all Israelites. That's my question. I don't divide them. The scriptures divide them. You, you, I'll go, but you're cutting the corners. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. So, we talked about Paran, right? I'm oh, sorry, Sinai, and that's Moses and his revelation, right? Yeah. We talked about Sair, which is both of you, those you don't know. You just say that's the name. That's where the Edomites dwell. No, no, no. Forget about the, the words Edomites. No. We're focusing on Sinai, Sair, and Paran, right? So, Paran, what does that symbolize? I just I looked it up for you. They don't even know exactly where it is. It's not. I keep saying. I've said a hundred times. It's not the land. It's the, it's the people. It's not the land. You keep getting caught up on the land. The land takes on the name of the people. Before we got into the land, it was called the land of Canaan because the Canaanites, the mountains, the Hamites, these mountains, they still have the same name, right? So when they, we that's have what the it, same, that's what that's what it's translated to. Yes. Right. So yes. when I say Sinai, again, I'll say it again. I know what he's trying to say. He's trying to say we dwell there, and you guys got the books from us. But I'm trying to. I'm trying to. That's what you're trying to ultimately say. So I get what you're saying. Well, the, but the there were different. There were different migration patterns in history. The people there now were not the people there that were there thousands yeah, of years ago. Yeah. yeah. So no, that's that's the their ancestors for sure. <laughs> nah, Again, not. you want to talk about DNA? I have the whole study done. All right. So yeah. you, when you go on the DNA test and it tells you when you go to five Focus. different companies, yeah. you get five different answers. They had Which twins yes. who did um, DNA tests and they got two separate okay. ancestors. So I'll answer. Iran uh -huh. mm -hmm. represent Muhammad. I knew I, oh, who, who he was yeah. going there. Yeah. I knew he was going there. And, I, and that's why I got listen. the scripture for you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Bring it out, bring okay. it out. I'll so bring it out. tell me what's going on with his right hand. He was still I'm asking you questions. That's the one you ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He's not coming from the right hand. He doesn't? Let me get, you just keep running, read <laughs> Hebrews 1. Because the right hand tied to who? Read Hebrews 1. I Who's mean, God's right hand? Oh, hold on, hold on. The Messiah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, you talked about symbolism. And you brought Babylon, right? And I said, okay, you're going after symbolism. The reason that I tried to hit two birds with one stone, this verse that you read in Deuteronomy 33, 2, break down these two and give you a precise, clear cut answer, precision, on how these lines or these prophecies came together. I got so, I got, on, two, I got two scriptures for you. So the, mm -hmm. the right hand tied to Paran is not tied to Sanai and Sair, correct? Oh boy! All right, let me read. I can read this for you. I read it for you. Hebrews one and one. God at sundry times in divers manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets. After in his last days spoken to us by his son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the Majesty on on high. His right hand man is the Messiah. At his right hand is that's the Messiah. That's a conjecture. That's, what, that's a conjecture. Okay. That's, that's a conjecture. All right. All right. All right. Let me read Genesis for you. That's opinion. Okay. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it this way. You, you, we, the scriptures don't deal with opinion. That's the well, truth. It is a fact. It's the truth. It is what it says. Yeah. Genesis seventeen seven. It says this is the the battle between Isaac and Ishmael. I will establish my covenant between me and thy seed after thee in a generation for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed. He's speaking to Abraham. After thee. Verse 20. As for Ishmael, which are the Arabs, I have heard thee, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, I will multiply. It's still going? Exceedingly twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. He blessed the Ishmaelites. He did. This is the point. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear thee unto this time next year. I'm dealing with Isaac. Isaac had Jacob who had 12 sons. All the prophets, even in your Quran, the majority of the prophets Why are the Israelites. Sure, sure. Why the Quran talk about Isaac and Jacob? Like literally. Because those, that's the chosen. 
you know the Quran. And when you, you know go in, and when you go into Muhammad, it tells you, oh my God. So I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. So you could, you're not, you're arguing about the past. I want to, talk, I want to talk to you something about the future, right? The, I'm saying though, the God, the God of yesterday is the God today, and the God in the future. He's, he's he does not change. So if he said I chose, if he so, said I chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that's an everlasting covenant. Nothing could transfer to Ishmael. We just read it. He said I'm a blessed Ishmael. Okay, okay, look, you're confusing. You're confusing. No, 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 you're no. Confusing no. the whole thing. No, he said I'm a blessed Ishmael for your sake, Abraham. Okay. But my covenant. I'm dealing with Isaac. So I told you I'm from the Levi. I told you I'm from Jacob. I told you I'm from that land, right? But, uh, but you, your perceptions and that mind is going to Ishmael because the, the first thing that I brought the Quran, that's where your whole mind's gone, to, you know, gone here. Now, when I ask you, hold on, hold on, when I ask you about Sa Sair, Sinai, and Peron, you never know that. What does that mean? You know, he said, hey, this is how it's being given to us. But I never are, said that. I, I, I you recorded that. I mean, you many times. That. I broke it down many you, times. No, 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 many times. Listen, but listen. anyway, so you said Mount Seir. I told you where Seir is, in southern Israel. That's where Mount Paran. I said I looked it up where Mount Paran was exactly. They don't even know. Scholars don't really know exactly where Mount Paran is. Scholars they got, don't they know got many theories. theories. So theories. I don't want theories. I don't want conjectures. Meaning they say they they say that we don't really know exactly where these places are. So we can. So that's what I'm saying. And I told you. It's not the land, it's the people. The land takes on the name. Oh, I keep saying that thousands of so, times. Cause that's not important. So, so like, you think you you think you're from Jacob because you live you from that land? Right, right. And you said the no, right. You said you said the right hand. So you did an ancestry to that contest. And all that. <laughs> but no, no, no. Right, my right. Ancestry go back there. And I have to clear it up. And then you said his right hand. Something about Mount Seir. God's right hand is the Messiah, His Son. That's, that's what I said. That's a conjecture. And then you okay, said that's okay, conjecture. Okay, okay. So you don't know the, the history beside these three mountains of fun. I want to ask you about the future. The future. When we talk about the second coming, can you refer to me any anywhere in the book about the second coming? You want me to read the second coming? Hold on, hold on. Before you read it, you guys have been reading a lot you of stuff. So you want the second coming? Do you know what's going to happen if you're not an Israelite according to the second coming? <laughs> okay. So what happened if that Messiah that you're waiting for is going to come to that land? And we're gonna call you. It's like, hey, here's the Messiah. Come and follow. Will you follow? When the Messiah come back, you're gonna know. I'm gonna read it. Revelation one. Is this part of the Bible? Yeah. Old and the old, the old Testament, the old Bible. Revelation chapter one. Let's read the Messiah. Revelation chapter one, verse six, verse seven. Behold, he cometh with cloud chariots. And every eye shall see him. So when the Messiah comes, you're going to know. So he's going to be flying, right? He's going to come out of the sea. He's going to crack the heavens open. It says, They also which pierced him, and all kingdoms of the earth shall wail because of him, because he's coming back to put people to death and to save the elect. And this is what the Messiah says is going to happen for the elect of these people. Revelation 2.26. Revelation 2.26. He that overcometh and keepeth my words unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. The other nations, they go into captivity. This is red letter. Can I get a piece of for you, huh? Yeah, you read, read, read it, read it. Isaiah, when you read this, Isaiah 6, 6, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with, her, and with his chariots like a whirlwind to mm. render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord flee with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. That's so, your second coming. That's second coming right there. That's what the scripture says. The earth, the people, the earth shall wail because of him. Okay, let me ask you a question. You see what I'm saying? Okay. He came as a reading, lamb, but now he's coming back you guys as a lion. You scriptures, uh -huh. but when I ask you precisely about what the scripture meant, you don't know you what he asked me one, and I broke right. it down yeah. many times already. I broke it down many times okay. already. Okay. okay. I mean, if you don't want to, hear, I mean, it you is guys, what it is. You guys have read a lot of scriptures. I'll go back to that first one that I asked. One, one day of the Lord equal a thousand years of our times. Break right. it down for me. I'll stop by tomorrow. We tell uh, one day equals a thousand years. Is that figurative, right? Yeah, that doesn't that's have what the, to that's do. What, that's what the, the scripture says. Right. It's, and that's what it says. So, but you so, don't know what so it you means. know exactly. You actually know what, what what day the Lord is coming back. Not, you okay. can you can calculate exactly when He's coming back. I'm not going to give that to you for sure. The scripture says, let your yay be yay or your nay be nay. Is it a yes or no? Say, Anything God other than that is know. evil. <laughs> Look, say, God knows. I don't know. No. So, okay. Because I don't understand what, what's the point in bringing up the thing. Yeah. Th anybody who says that because they, have an, actual, they have an actual date. Because you're reading. Because you're reading. And you don't know what these words mean. You have read a lot of scriptures. So I'll no, ask no, you no, no, no. Okay, what do you ask me? Actually, you ask me what's one day to the Lord. 
A day is a thousand years according to the Bible. Well, what, what other point are you trying to make? Okay, break it down by the solar system and break oh, it down yeah. by the lunar system. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not bringing this from me. Go back to the Deuteronomy. Yes. Watch out for those. There's two lights, right? One is the greater light and one is the lesser light. So, I'll say it again. One day of the Lord equal thousand years of our time. Please so use want the two to instruments from the lesser light. light. You want us to break down the one day you know, listen. To, to, to see that's exactly that's when he's coming back. That's a question. I don't get what's no, the no, point. No. I don't don't, worry, about, you want us to break don't worry about, don't worry about his second coming. Don't worry about, the sec don't worry about the time of the second coming. If you know the time, okay, break the one day of the Lord. Equal what? You know what I'm saying? saying no, what, what, point, what, point, what point does that mean? I don't get yeah, the, what's point. the point. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Why do you want us to break down the years for what? For what's the point? So you're reading a lot of scriptures, but you're not making But I'm saying, though, what, what's the point of me exactly. breaking that down? A, a day is a thousand years. What, what other point is that? So, you know, you want to know the time in the, back in the day. Uh -huh. So you can track what's going on with the... And, uh, and, what, and what did, uh, Okay, so what did the Lord say to look at? Did he say to, to break down the years or to look for signs? What is signs? Okay, Matthew 24. Let's let's get it. You let's get reading it. scriptures, but the Lord not... said, "He that believeth on me as the scriptures." This is how you got many different religions. They don't read out of the Bible. Catholicism, Islam, none of those things are in the Bible. Don't worry about that's, it. That's that's man-made religion. Don't worry about it. So, so Matthew 24. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read. So, it. I tell no, you no, no. We're not dealing with opinions. We. I'm, I'm telling you. The Lord you said. The Lord what said. What the Lord said. Blessed is he that readeth. <laughs> like they always say, if you want to hide it? something from the Negro, what? Put it in a book. We read the book. Read it for you? Yeah, read it. Matthew 24. Read it. Read it. 24 and what? 1. Matthew 24, verse 1. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another uh -huh. that shall not be thrown that down. That came to pass. You read on. And we destroyed and, it. And, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? When these things going to happen? Read on. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What is the sign of thy coming? To break down the years mathematically? Nah, what did he say? End of the end of the world. Uh-huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mm -hmm. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So he's breaking it down. And ye shall hear wars. So he's telling you what to look out for. Read on. And rumors of wars. Uh huh. See that ye and be not troubled. Keep sure. reading on, keep reading. Sure. For all I'm these aware of all this. The past, you keep talking, but the but end is not yet. Uh huh. For nation shall rise against nation. So and he's breaking it down right okay, what okay, to okay, look okay. for. He didn't say break down no, mathematically. It's look happening. for the signs. And that's happening right now. And there you go. So okay. that's that's how we know. And what's, what's one of the main signs, the two main signs in the Bible talks about? World War Three, and the Mark of the Beast, Revelation 13. A cashless society. Okay, forget, forget, forget. No, no, no. You, you want to read it? Revelation 13? Yeah, I can. <laughs> read, read that. Read that. Read it. Read it. Read it. 13, 9? No, no, no. Well, 13, 9 is good. But read 13, 16. They can read, but they cannot comprehend. What's We're the breaking it down. You haven't read one scripture or broken it down for me. we dealing with the word of the Heavenly Father. The scripture well, says I gave, this. I give you the best example. You gave me Deuteronomy 33. And you said his right hand is Mount Paran, which nobody knows what that right. is. I didn't say Yes, you did. I said, what does that symbolize? I told you. I told. I, I said, I looked at where Mount Paran is. They don't even know what that is. I said, it's not the land. It's the people. The right hand is the Messiah. He wrote the law. I broke that down. Okay. Where and these, I said, and I where said. Where these thousand people came from? The, the thousands of the saints are the angels. Where did they come from? What do you mean where they came from? The, 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 the third heaven or the fourth dimension? That's where the Heavenly Father I'll is. I'll tell you something. So, 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 no, no, read Revelation 13. Read, 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 read. read, read, read. And he called the Father. Both uh, small small and great, uh -huh. rich and poor, uh -huh. free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or sure. in their forehead. The, red, the, the RFID chip. And you had Elon Musk who said next year they're going to start implanting in people's minds, their brains to help paraplegics. Hold on. And also uh, in Sweden, right over here in America, in Europe, people already got it in their hand. So how do we know the Messiah is around the corner? To, to bring it down full circle is because of science and because of prophecy. Okay. Not because of mathematics or time or trying to... Uh, Break, break things down. down. Yeah. yeah. And the scripture tells you in Deuteronomy 18 and 10, don't be observer of times. Don't get involved in the zodiac. You're supposed to what? 
precept on, on Matthew 24 and 36. Uh -huh. But on that day and hour, no, no man, oh, no, no on, not on, the man. angels of heaven, the but angels my only. father only. About my who? But my father only. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh, look, that's the Bible. I can't argue with the Bible, bro. You want me to, but I can't. I can't. Okay. Yeah. So what's your, what's your question? What's, what's, the what's your question? Like, my, my, my first question. Trying to answer. My, my first question.